Welcome to our channel. Emma Watson's secret battle, the Panama Papers scandal revisited. Emma Watson set up an offshore company for safety, not tax benefits, amidst the Panama Papers leak. Her spokesman defends her actions. In a magical world far removed from the financial intricacies and legal loopholes of our own, Emma Watson enchanted millions as Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter series. Yet it's the spellbinding tale of her involvement with the Panama Papers that has since captured public intrigue, highlighting a clash between celebrity privacy and the shadowy realms of offshore finances. As we look back on the events that unfolded, it's clear that Watson's narrative is more than just a footnote in the saga of the Panama Papers. Watson's decision to set up an offshore company, Falling Leaves Lead, in the British Virgin Islands in 2013, was thrust into the limelight amidst the release of the Panama Papers. The documents, leaked from the Panama-based law firm Mossack Fonseca, exposed the financial dealings of public figures worldwide. Emma, like many high-profile individuals, set up an offshore company for the sole purpose of protecting her anonymity and safety, stated Luke Windsor, Watson's spokesman. This move, according to Windsor, was a necessary step in a world where public figures often find their personal safety compromised. The revelation came at a time when the ethics of offshore financial activities were being heavily scrutinized. While offshore accounts and companies can have legitimate purposes, such as asset protection and privacy. They are also associated with tax evasion and money laundering. Watson's case, however, was argued as a fight for personal safety rather than financial gain. Offshore companies dot do not publish shareholder details, Windsor explained, underlining the privacy such arrangements can offer. Watson's involvement in the scandal shed light on the complex reasons behind the use of offshore entities by high-profile individuals. While some media speculated that Watson's company was set up to purchase property in London, these claims remained unaddressed by her representatives. The broader discourse around the Panama Papers highlighted the intricate dance between legality, morality, and the quest for privacy in a digital age where information is both currency and weapon. Also read enough is enough Jim Carrey contemplates life beyond the screen. The International Consortium of Investigative Journalists' release of the Panama Papers database marked a pivotal moment in investigative journalism, linking people to nearly offshore entities. Watson's name, found amidst this vast sea of data, sparked conversations about the responsibilities and vulnerabilities of those in the public eye. Years on, the Emma Watson Panama Papers incident serves as a poignant reminder of the privacy challenges faced by public figures. In an era where personal information is easily accessible and often weaponized, the lengths to which individuals go to protect their privacy speak volumes about the world we navigate. Emma's safety has been jeopardized in the past when such information became public. Windsor's statement reminds us, pointing to a stark reality for those whose lives are perpetually in the limelight. As we revisit this chapter of Watson's life, it's an opportunity to reflect on the broader implications of privacy, security, and the ethical use of offshore financial structures. It's a tale that, while seemingly detached from the magical world of Harry Potter, reveals the real-world complexities and moral quandaries faced by those who once seemed to live beyond the reach of mundane concerns. Several parts of the text in this article, including the title, were generated with the help of an eye tool. Thanks you for watching. Stay connected with us for more videos.